Hi you guys, hello. Welcome to the Good News Sunday Show. Welcome to a special series on the Good News Sunday Show titled Reading Romans. So for the next few weeks or however long it lasts, we are going to be reading the book of Romans here on the Good News Sunday Show. Of course, we will not be doing this on Fridays because Fridays are reserved for Firm Foundation Fridays. But for the rest of the week, the rest of the four days of the week, we are going to be reading directly from the book of Romans. And we are going to be reading the King James Version of that book. So, we will be, begin today in just a little backstory that on the book of Romans. The book of Romans was written by Paul. And it was written more than 2,000 years ago. And Paul wrote the book of Romans from the city of Corinth which is now modern day Turkey, okay? So, and Paul wrote this letter to the Romans and he had never met them. So, it would be much like blogging today. So, I think it's really interesting that he wrote to a group of people that he had, he had never met and usually when we blog, that is likely the same case. So, we'll go ahead and get started and we will read several verses today and then be back tomorrow, which is Wednesday and Thursday. And hopefully, we will do this until, until we have read the book in its entirety. So, Paul, a servant of Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle, separated unto the gospel of God, which he had promised afore by his prophets in the Holy Scriptures, concerning his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, which was made of the seed of David, according to the flesh, and declared to be the Son of God with power according to the spirit of holiness by the resurrection from the dead by whom we have received grace and apostleship for obedience to the faith among all nations for his name. Among whom are ye also the called of Jesus Christ. To all that be in Rome, beloved of God, called to be saints, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. First, I thank my God through Jesus Christ for you all that your faith is spoken throughout the whole world. For God is my witness, whom I serve with my spirit in the gospel of his Son, that without ceasing I make mention of you always in my prayers. Make a request if by any means now at length I might have a prosperous journey by the will of God to come unto you. For I long to see you, that I may impart unto you some spiritual gift, to the end ye may be established. That is, that I may be, comfort, I may be comforted together with you by the mutual faith, both of you and me. Now, I would not have you ignorant, brethren, that oftentimes I proposed to come unto you, but was not able to, that I might have some fruit among you, even as among other Gentiles. I am a debtor both to the Greeks and to the barbarians, both to the wise and the unwise. So as much as in me, so as much as in me is, I am ready to preach the gospel to you that are at Rome also. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation 
to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first, and also to the Greek. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. There you have it. The reading of Romans in the King James Version from verse 1 through verse 17. The good news is, the good news is the gospel. And the good news is we still have time. We still have time to glean truth, which is all truth. But we still have time to dig into our Father's Word and to unearth new truths for ourselves. This is Sonia of the Good News Sunday Show signing out for the special readings of the book of Romans. Thank you and have a great day. Bye-bye.